You know, folks, a lot of people seek adrenaline rushes through skydiving, jumping out of planes, jumping out of helicopters, diving to the deepest depths of the ocean, going face to face with giant sharks or tigers or bears. But me, <laughs> I just like playing spooky video games in spooky places. And tonight is no different. As you already know, I am staying overnight in a lookout tower in the middle of the woods alone by myself and I'm about to play a horror video game called Fierce to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout, which is a horror themed game which centers around staying overnight at a lookout in the middle of the woods alone. And I don't know much about this game. I don't really know exactly what to expect, but there's a lot of great reviews online about it. So I figured I'd try it out since I'm staying here tonight and really immerse myself into this game. But I've got my tea and a nice cozy fire and a spooky horror game in front of me. It's gonna be a cozy night. Let's hop into it. Fierce to Fathom, episode four, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching your YouTuber play Fierce to Fathom, Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the, t at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I know that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job at a, as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help for my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. Okay, that's weird. That, because I live in a van? That's weird. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh, this is so weird, guys. This feels very personal, considering I live and travel out of my van. Oh, I can actually drive, okay. It, it, this kind of feels like this story is about me in a weird way because I live out of my van. I don't know, this is strange, but I'm very curious to see how this plays out. Just being surrounded by nature gives me happiness. Same, bro, same. Okay, just cruising through the town, no big deal. Oh! So we've been texting our friend here, Kayla, and she says that this diner here has the best burgers in town. I have to try them out. Okay, well, let's go try it out. Seems like a pretty nice diner. Hi. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Not too bad. Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. I'll sit right here. This looks pretty good. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. I'll get a cheeseburger with a large Coke. That'll be all. All right, now we're about to feast, okay. I always had this habit of peeing before eating. Okay, well, I guess I'll go pee. Let's go pee. I assume the bathroom's this way? Yep. Close the door, go pee. Nice. Oh. Great, that looks absolutely delicious. Let me get, let me, let me bite that. Consuming is what I'm doing right now. I'm consuming. I think this is gonna make me a little hungry. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Cool, so I'm gonna chow down. I do not like those eating sounds. I hate it. Oh, Kayla. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Heck yeah, it is. Let me drink this Coke. This food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe we were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Wow, yes, I'm on my way. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Fantastic. Would love some more. 
Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Dang, that was delicious. Pay $6 and 50% tip? Let's do it, why not? I'm apparently rich. Well, yum, that was a great little pit stop. Let's get back on the road and uh, get to our lookout because looks like the sun is setting here soon and we wanna make sure we're on the road before it's dark. All right, that was fun. Oh gosh. Oh freak, how do I? I swear I'm not this bad at driving in real life, I swear. La da 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 da. 8.02 p.m. Sun has set and is officially spooky. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. The music is getting spooky. I, you know it's about to get real spooky now. I drove past the trail at first. Oh shoot, we missed it. We missed the trail. We got to back up. Okay, so, hold on, let's read this, t oh, freak, we're off-roading, we're off-roading. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Hello? <laughs> oh, freak! Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. Can I see your permit, please? I'm not a camper. I'm a new transfer from Fire Lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. That just scared the crap out of me. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. That's strange. Let me open the trail gate for you. Yes, please do. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing, nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. All right. Just a piece of advice though. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Okay. Bobcats and bears. Okay, that sounds right. Nasty business. You got it. All right, sounds good. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Oh, there it is. Iron Bark, Tower 11, 170 feet. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Oh wow, this looks spooky. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone, but I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Okay, we're going up. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. All right, we're in. Wow, cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Wow, this is a pretty cozy little space. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Let's turn this light on. Forgot to turn the generator on at first. Yikes, okay, so I bet the generator is down at the bottom. Wow, look at this view. Okay, so that must be Fire Tower 12. Oh, here we go. All right, power is on. Let's go up to the top. Boom. We got power. This is a cozy little space, I'm not gonna lie. Not nearly as nice as this one, though. <laughs> All right, so I need to radio in, I believe is what they said. Radio equipment was sitting on the wooden table. Okay, so we're booting up the PC here. Starting Rainbow 98. Password. We do not know the password. Maybe we'll find the password somewhere else. 
Ironbark Fire Department. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. System password is Ironbark, tower number. Got it. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Okay, so let's get on here. Iron Bark 11. Okay, booting up the PC. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help, help you make the most of your computer today. What's on your mind today? Ironbark Trail Map. This is the Ironbark State Trail Map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. Welcome to the state-of-the-art service reporting software developed by... That's weird. Random static? New guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. I'm Connor, Fire Tower 12. Oh, this is Fire Tower 12, okay. Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? An experienced comrade. See why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. All right, so we need to make a fire, and they've got this cozy little wood-burning stove here, just like I have in this outlook. So I guess we need to get some wood from outside. Maybe there's some wood in this shed here. Yep, there definitely is. Right. Oh wait. Cool. And we need to light this sucker up. Boom. Wait, hold up, what? Oh, maybe we need the gas. Oh, here we go. Boom. Gas is in there. And let's light it up. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's close that. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower Eleven alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Oh, I did not do that. Okay, so we've got to do our report. Here at Iron Park, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Definitely not. Okay, so we've got to report here, I believe. We've got to report the temperature, the wind speed. Let's look at the temperature here. We've got to, where is it? Temperature is 49.6. We probably need to go outside with this tool. 18 knots is what we're reading on the windometer. I'm assuming that's what it's called. I, I don't actually know, <laughs> but it sounds legit. You copy, new guy? I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All right, all of our duties have been done. Let's go to sleep for the night. Someone's trying to radio in. What time is it? Okay. I had to pee. Okay, let's let's go pee. Um, on my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange, strange feeling. Oh, 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 I thought I was about to fall down. Hold space to pee? I can just pee on the stairs? Oh, I'm peeing off the tower. <laughs> oh, and you can just... Oh, wow. That is just amazing gameplay. This is peak gaming right here, boys and girls. All right. All right, back to sleep. Night two. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. All right, it's a beautiful day here on the fire tower. 
This is a lot like my evening that I just had. Oh, let's take a picture of this. Why not? Boom. It's a good cozy morning. Up on a fire tower lookout with this beautiful view. Having a nice cup of coffee. Okay. All right. Coffee's done. Let's go put the sucker away and uh. You copy? Oh. This is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Uh, smoke north of my position. Where is north? Is this a compass? Uh, let's put this in the sink here. Which way is north? I guess that's north. Oh. The smoke was white. Indicative of a campfire. I need you to confirm. Okay, I'm coming, Connor. Do you see that smoke up north? I, I do. Just give me a second. I have to, I have legs. I gotta walk. You spot that white smoke up north? It yeah, I see it. in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. The fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Okay, bear spray. Where did I see? I saw bear spray earlier. I think that was in the utility shed down. Oh, wait, no. Here's the bear spray. Cool. All right, so let's go. Oh, I just sprayed bear spray in my lookout. <laughs> let's go try and figure out where, who is camping in an unregistered campsite. You know, I do remember that at the beginning of the game, it told me not to hike north of my fire towers, so this might be a bad idea. Okay, so that's the trail we came in on. So I guess we go this way. 8.37 PM. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh shoot, what? That's some creepy music right there. No camping, violators will be sighted and moved. Oh, an abandoned campsite. Oh, Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply when you're back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. And I sent Kayla some pictures that I took this morning. Cool. So I guess I get service down here, which is good to know. Let's put this down. Uh, I'm hearing some whistling. The freak is that noise? I had to put it out. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to put the fire out. Let's get this pot here. Let's fill it up with water. And put out the fire. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Yep, that'll show them kids. <clears throat> spray their tent in their bed with bear spray. They definitely aren't coming back here now. <laughs> Okay. 9.07 p.m. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. All right, home sweet home, baby. I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor. Do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Yeah, man, there's just an empty campfire. I don't know, there was nobody there. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? Well, what do you mean? I am sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? 
Yeah, there was this weird scream that I heard. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No, it was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. I'm sorry, kids went missing in that area? Ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with the campers, though? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Oh. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had the Staff Tower 11 urgently. Well, that's unsettling. You guy. No. Right. Anyways, thanks for Why would I? vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Alright, keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Alright, so before we head out for the night, we need to report our duties. Temperature is 49.6 degrees. Let's let's calculate the wind. 18 knots. Oh, what did Kayla say to me? Apparently I'm about, I'm gonna make this pizza pasta bake. At this point I was starving. I had to get all the ingredients Kayla's recipe asked for. Okay, so we've got pasta, marinara sauce, which is, is there a refrigerator somewhere? Ah, here we go. So let's get the sauce, pour it on there. Grab pepperonis, throw that bad boy on there with some mozzarella cheese. What else? Diced tomatoes would be up here, I think, right? Diced tomatoes, boom. Place all the ingredients in casserole, bake at 420 degrees. A420. And we're gonna bake this. Boom. We're making ourselves a nice hot meal in this beautiful fire lookout. There. What is it? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. Oh, sweet. Hope they can track them down and get them peace of mind. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. All right. By the way, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to it after I ate. You better get to it. They didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Okay, you got it. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. All right, thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. All right, so let's do our nightly duties. Let's grab this bad boy. The wind is blowing at 18 knots yet again. Temperature is 49.6. 49.6. Eighteen knots. All right, we are reported and we are signing off for the night. All right. Oh, that smells so good. I can smell it through the freaking screen. Let's put that there. I like eating in bed. Okay, I'm gonna eat this whole freaking casserole in this bed, okay. Mmm. <laughs> That is some disgusting sound effects. All right, let's go put this on the counter here. I could have kept it. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually put this in the refrigerator. All right, there we go. Oh, it's getting cold though, so we need to light a fire in the stove. So I'm gonna go get some wood from down in the utility shed. Pour some gas on the sucker. Boom. All right, it's nice and cozy in here. Let's go to bed. 2.27 a.m. I was woken up by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What the freak is that? What is that shadow on the wall? There was something very strange about that night. 
Dude, I just got chills down my spine. That was creepy. Alright, I'm gonna turn the light on. Uh... Is something trying to get in the door? Where's my bear spray? Okay, this is creepy. What is that? I'm sorry, what? Is this some sort of cult? I didn't know what to make of it at that moment. Yeah, that's freaking creepy. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Okay, I'm gonna close the door here. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, it's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Wait until morning? No, there's a spooky skull effigy out my front door. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around, though. I saw a spooky shadow out my window. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. I don't know. This feels like some weird ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> yeah, I know. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Please do. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. <sighs> try to get some sleep, Jack. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Alright, so I guess I go to sleep. Night three. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower or by scanning the densities of trees all around me. My paranoia for the woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Oh, there's, is that smoke I see? Yeah, there's smoke. Red smoke? There's something. Wait, where'd it go? Okay, what's going on? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you describe your surroundings? I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness, I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Okay, let me scan the map and get back to you. Okay, so let's look at the trail map. He's by a river. Where are we at? So he came east, so he's going west. Uh, he needs to go left. Because if he goes right, he's going to go up this way. And this will head him back to the trailhead. So he needs to go left. Okay, take the left trail. <laughs> I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You're welcome, buddy. Hello? I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you. What? I hear your whistles. I'm in my tower right now. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. 
That's not me. You're freaking me out. Dude, that sounded like a knock in here. What the freak? Oh, I'm getting chills. Where's my... Oh! Holy crap. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Just getting used to the new environment. Did you notice anything unusual on your hike up north yesterday? Yeah, there was a freaking skull. Did you take a photo of it? No. Alright, thanks for the supplies. What is this? Alright, before we head to bed, let's heat up this casserole that we made the other day. Oop. Boom. Mm, 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 mm. I don't like that noise. Alright, we are all serviced, reported in. Time to go to bed. Crap! But we gotta we gotta start a fire first because it's cold. So let's go down and get some wood. Grab a log. Ah, the freak! The freak was that? Who are you? You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? I agree, fire risks are high this season. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Farewell? What the freak? That guy gave out the creepiest vibes. And he's just gonna walk into the forest like that? Okay. Close it up. Bedtime, baby. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. What? New guy. You there? What do you mean? I'm definitely in here. You copy now. Right here. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? I went down to get firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. Well, I ran into the radio tower worker. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is 
no time soon, according to Mitch. Okay, then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. But he knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? I don't know. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Okay. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Tower 12, signing off. Good night, over and out. Weird. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I had seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later, 9.18 p.m. You guy, you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs anyways. For now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Okay, use the console. Okay, apparently we need to install a new update on the computer here. Um, so in the console, type help. Okay, help. Uh, so let's check for current version. 207. Let's check for the update. Three updates total. Okay. Um, update. Enter the package code. Okay. Four three four six zero eight four because it says it right there. Wait, what? Four three four six zero eight four. Package found. Looking for serviceable lines. Interactive line. One zero four five. Five nine eight seven. Five nine eight seven. Eight seven. Oh, here we go. Oh, system is up to date. Dang. Oh, okay. Uh, the power went out. Um, that's not good. Maybe we gotta go down and restart the generator. No, the generator's still on. Oh, it ran out of gas. Maybe there's gas in the utility shed. Yep, right here. Boom. Okay, we've got power again. Let's go back up. I really had to pee before going back up. Oh, so let's go pee in the porta potty. <gasps> there's a microphone? You can. What? You can make it louder or quieter? Why? Why is that an option in this game? All right, let's go back up to the top. One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I've ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 AM. We got another one. What? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Jack, you copy? Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. Campsite from your end. Let me have a look. Uh, where's those binoculars? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Okay. 
Okay, where's the smoke coming from? Oh, this smoke is coming from right there. I know I've got some binoculars in here somewhere. Let's turn this light on. Right here, okay. Oh, what the freak? Um, what is this? It's like some sort of cult in the forest? I'm sorry, what? Oh, that's creepy. <gasps> oh! They saw me! They saw me take a picture, and now they're running into the forest. Oh. That was creepy. Oh! They're coming up the trail. Oh my. Oh, free. Um. Close the door. Give me the bear spray. Turn the lights off. Um. What do I do? Hide. I can hide. Right now, Spud. Kicking down the door? Is this using my real mic? to make a run. Oh, oh, so apparently I'm running for it. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, no, he saw me, freak! Oh, oh, I didn't know he was still here. Oh, gosh, where do I run to? Oh, freak! What the? Was that the end? Oh my gosh. That just scared the crap out of me. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool little story. It wasn't much of a game. It was more so just like a ghost story more than anything, but that was really fun. Hi, Patreon subscribers. Thanks for watching that full playthrough. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was fun. Uh, hopefully you were as immersed as I was staying in this lookout tower while playing a horror game about staying in a lookout tower. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being a Patreon supporter. I appreciate you. And make sure to check out all of my other videos that I have on here. I've got so many now. I think I've got almost 20 now of exclusive videos that aren't on my YouTube channel. So make sure to check those out and uh, have a good one, folks. Thanks for watching.